Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I am back with our day five Bible devotional, or Bible, um, our devotional or Bible study um, scripture for the day. And I'm going to be doing some Bible journaling. I was going to come back and just show you it all done, and I thought, no, I'm just going to sit here with you. So thank you guys for all your patience missing the last two days. What happened was um, I was having a problem with my scan disc card. Um, for some weird reason, weird reason, um, <laughs> it wouldn't work. It was brand new. Um, I did not have a backup camera. My phone is not working correctly. And my phone will only video for a very tiny amount of time. And so, anyways, I apologize. And even that wasn't even working. So, we now have a back backup scan disc card. We have two backup cameras. <laughs> we are good to go. So, God willing, we are good to go. And, um, and then tonight, um, I, we were supposed to go stay the night in the city to go to a conference tomorrow, and the storms that are coming are really bad. And so my husband just got home from work, and he and my youngest are outside. They are battening down the hatches, and, um, yeah, and so you'll have to forgive me. I had very little sleep last night. Um, I had a very lovely but very long phone call with a family friend or family family member, and we spoke until the wee hours. Actually, her son's alarm went off for school. So, <laughs> anyways, but um, I don't know that I've done that in maybe 20 years. So, um, I slept about three four hours, and I waited and got my husband up this morning and off, and then I went to sleep, and then you know got up at. Um, mid-morning so it was just kind of a whoo but and I thought no way we are gonna get in the word so let's pray we've got all the technology Lord willing it's working we have a new little mama friend here and he's from Target Dollar Spot or she's from and so I just we're ready to start so okay friends let's pray dear Lord thank you so much for today and Lord we praise you for your provision and your love and your kindness for us and we praise and thank you for the days that just stop us dead in our tracks. And we have all these plans, and we recognize that sometimes our plans aren't your plans. And thank you for the ability to be still and rest, even if it wasn't in the plan that day. So, God, I thank you for the all the technology trouble I was having, and we just give it to you, God. I pray that this video will... will work <laughs> and it will be a blessing to you and all of those who are watching with us lord we thank you for everything that you're doing in each one of our lives and we thank you for each and every person who is here today and in the future and i pray that you bless them with this time lord we thank you for your word and thank you that we now get to get creative in your word so we can better know you in Jesus' name i pray amen Okay, friends, so let's get going. So to refresh your memory, on day five, if you're in the devotional, the verse goes, you chart the path ahead of me and tell me where to stop and rest. Every moment you know where I am. Psalms 139.3. Well, when I came into this Bible, I think, is this an ESV? I want to think that this is an English Standard Version. Um, and many of you know I'm a New American Standard you know, gal, and, uh, yeah, English Standard Version, and I started reading it, and then I just couldn't just do the one verse, so it says, you search out my path, and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways, even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it all together, wow, you hem me in behind and before, and lay your hand upon me, so I love that whole passage there of, you know, if you keep going, I mean, it's so good. Psalms 139 is so good. And it ends up with such knowledge. It's too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. I mean, if you think about how much God loves us, it is amazing. It is something that stops you just in your tracks. We are awestruck at what God has done for us and where he is in our life. So I just love this passage. And I just, it, it. It's just so lovely, and, and I just received some beautiful little florals, stickers, that I had ordered off of Amazon, so I think we're going to bust these open, and I thought, 
you know, just that, you know, the path on lying down. And I already knew in my mind what I wanted to do in here. And I think one of my dear sweet honeys came through and grabbed my pencil. But, hmm, hold on. Let me see. So we've had so much going. Well, there's a pen. I can use a pen. I can make it work. We can do it. So I thought a lot about that path. So I literally just want to draw a path. And I thought about the florals on the side of the path. That, you know, you search out my path and lie, and my lying down. So I thought a lot about that. And it says, and are acquainted with all my ways. And I just thought, oh, I want to draw a path. I want to put some flowers there. I, I just had all these things in my mind that I wanted to do. So, anyways, I'm not even sure where I was going with this a minute ago. You can tell I am so sleepy. I'm so embarrassed, guys. Um, <laughs> the person I was talking to, you know, I got this text in the wee hours that, yeah, I'm up, you know, I had to do X, Y, Z. And then, um, and then it was, okay, I'm finished. I'm going back to bed. And I was like, oh, I wish I could. <laughs> so, all right. So we know that lots of colors in one make brown. So I'm not really sure how brown I'm going to get on this, but I am just going to kind of throw all the colors down and let it get muddy. So if you don't have a brown, I don't have a brown gelato with me. I have more out in my craft cottage, but Right now, like I said, we're getting ready for a major storm. And um, I don't think they want me out there hobbling along uh, on the path <laughs> to get to the cottage. But um, anyways, um, but we do know that in, in crafting, our colors can get muddy. So let's hope that these are going to get muddy. I mean, I can already see some of it, but we'll see what happens when I put down that damp cloth but no 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 so I got this message yeah I'm going back to sleep and this is a person who works essentially shift work and I'm thinking you should be used to this I'm not used to this because my first text this morning was oh I'm so old I feel every bit of this <laughs> so anyways but it's all good it's all good and uh I tell you what it's been a already busy day and it's going to be a busy night because there is all kinds of rough weather projected for this evening but by the time this gets up you guys are gonna know yeah you know, we're all gonna know we're gonna be on the other side of this storm but you know God is in control and he goes before us that's why I love this uh, scripture right here you hem me in before behind before and lay your hand upon me and you know in our script our, our devotional we've been reading things like um, he, um, the Lord sings over us while we sleep. The angels sing over us. And just, you know, wonderful word pictures of what God is and how he, you know, functions within our knowing him and how we function in his plan. And I just have to tell you that right now, it's almost going gray. I kind of like that. Um, but I have to tell you right now, I'm really happy about that because, you know, I I want, I don't want my God to leave me. I want my God to be with me. And I've called all my older kiddos and even called, just hung up the phone with my son. And I was saying, please be sure that, you know, your wife get, leaves school and, you know, and it's not safe anyways after dark. And, you know, it's really going to be high winds and potential hail and tornadoes. And, you know, and here's what you listen for. And here's the room you want to go to. And... I talked to my oldest daughter as well, and my youngest is going out helping my husband right now to get, get everything, all the critters taken care of, and all the property taken care of, and I mean, my husband's the guy that'll get up on the roof and clean out the roof, you know, 55 mile an hour winds, you know, in a storm, and I don't like it, so I told him, I said, this time you can't do that, you gotta just, you gotta be good, you know, come home, and he came home and he's tired too, but I told him, I said, you know, yeah, I understand the tired thing, so. Okay, so my path isn't quite brown because these are iridescents, but I think it's, you know what I could use? Hold on. I'm going to try one more. I've got a yellow. Let's see what yellow will do. Um, but 
you know, long story short, we know God is with us. We know he goes before us. He know he hems us in, scripture says. And doesn't that sound wonderful? It just sounds, and I know this is a, maybe a extravagant word, but it sounds marvelous. I marvel at how God protects me. Um, I genuinely marvel at that, and I marvel at his provision and so you know as we think about the storm coming in I'm you know like I said we canceled our hotel and it was a, a, a hotel reservation that could not be canceled but they worked with us and then um, and we learned a lot like we're not going to go through one of those outside we're just going to go directly to the hotel that you know that we always stay at or the you know the type of hotels we always stay in because we have points and all that and, well, it's getting a little browner. That's good. But, anyways, long story short, you know, uh, sometimes you kind of get people that maybe aren't as friendly. Sometimes they're grumpy. And I caught a really nice person who was just like, oh, do you mind if I put you on hold? And I was like, no. Do what you got to do. I'm good. I'm here. And, you know, and they were just very gracious. And instead of holding you know, would you like me to call you back, and, you know, and just, and actually call me back, and, you know, you kind of have those, wow, and they were really working hard to help us, and I'd already talked to the hotel, and they were like, of course, we will gladly work with them, and, you know, and so I was just like, okay, God, well, you know, we can trust, you know, we trust that you have a plan, and you've gone before us, and you're going to go with us in this, and help us get the property, you know, kind of battened down, and help us get everything taken care of and then by tomorrow morning we should be good to go. I should be able to get up and be on the road by 6.15 and just be there. And um, and I'm missing tonight, you know, there's a dinner and stuff like that, but I'm okay with that. You know, you just have to just trust that God has a reason. And for us, you know, we can't leave our critters, we can't leave our property. I mean, we have to be here, you know, to take care of it. And you know, we have a, a responsibility, in other words, and, but, you know, I mean, I could have been all bummed out and grumpy about it, but, you know, why? Why do that? You know, why? And uh, my husband and I were talking about some things that were just, you know, family history, and I, you know, and he was like, you know, this is the first time you've ever really talked about this, and I said, well, I talked about it, you just weren't there to listen, I guess, <laughs> I don't know, you know, but, and he said, no, like, you are more definitive in what you're saying. And I said, Steve, I was always definitive, you know, but you had to, um, you had to come to your own conclusions on some things. And, you know, I knew what I knew and, and I called it what I called it. And I said, but there was, you know, there was a lot of grace and forgiveness and you know how you talk about those things, things that happen and in your past and, you know, all I can say is, you know, we all go through these, you know, rough patches in life. And I'm going to stop there. We'll see what happens. I'm going to keep any more florals out. And then we're just going to start playing with stickers. But, you know, we think about these things that we go through. And we know that our God is an amazing God. And, you know, just like it says, He hems us in. He protects us. He takes care of us. And there has to be a level of trust. You have to trust and know who God is. You know, and you know, when we look at this verse for this particular day, day, you can either believe or not believe. You know, you chart the path ahead of me and tell me where to stop and rest. Every moment, you know where I am. Now, I gotta be honest. There are people that have asked the Lord in their heart. And they may or may not believe that. They don't have that complete understanding. And, you know, it's not like it hits us all at once as a Christian. It takes a while. Our faith grows in our journey. And there's a lot that is given to us when we ask the Lord into our heart and we ask Jesus to be the Savior of our life and, and you know, Lord of our life. And But sometimes, you know, it's a, it's a journey. So... I'm not saying that to be like, oh, it's a journey, woe is me. I'm saying it to be like, 
Um, and I'm having a terrible time getting this going. I just, this is the first one, so we're going to have to figure out how it works. But sometimes it's just, it's the process, you know, and, and sometimes what I call the scenic route, you know, we have to go down the path a little before we can appreciate what's there to see. And my husband hates to take the wrong turn. Hates it. I mean, <laughs> he toils over it. And you know, I gotta tell you, you know, I'm I'm a planner, so you know I like I like to have a plan. But got it. Finally, praise God. Um, I should have had my exacto knife in here, and I will definitely for the next video make sure I have it in here. I have it packed for tomorrow. Whoops, I think I went a little too far over. So, but you know, I mean, sometimes that scenic route, we have to trust God. Sometimes we take a wrong turn for a reason. And, you know, I mean, one of my favorite sayings in life is there is joy in the journey. And I think that as we look at this scripture today, and it talks you know, about that God charts our path, we have to believe in him in order to understand he charts our path. We have to have faith in knowing who he is. And entrusting the journey and the turns and the the bumps and everything along the way. And and I'm not saying, you know, oh, I'm great at that. <laughs> you guys know me way too well. You know that's not who I am. I mean, you know, I've, you know, I, I can pray it out like anybody else and sweat it out. And, you know, I was recently talking to a family member about the timeline with my parents and you know it you look at that and you and you're just like but this isn't what we planned you know this isn't all the things we worked for to get there and to 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 do and you know all these things and anybody you know we've lost two little girls and any and anybody who's lost a child knows that there's a lot of times <laughs> you don't get to make that plan you know, God had a very different plan, and we have to submit and trust Him, and that is not easy at all. I mean, I am here to tell you, I am not, you know, great at that, and, you know, I mean, I can, I can ask God many times, why, 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 and, you know, please show me why, please give me a reason, you know, I, I'll follow you, but please, please, please answer my question. And sometimes we get the answer, and sometimes we don't. Sometimes we'll get it when we're in heaven, and sometimes we just get it later, you know. And it's not that God doesn't want us to understand and know his will, but sometimes he needs us to learn patience. Because, you know, to take a trip, you got to be patient. You know, right now, I have to be patient that as many people are showing up tonight for the for the dinner, I'm not going, you know, and I've been on the... Um, you know, I've been getting all the messages, and you know what? There's nothing I can do about it. I have a responsibility here, and I can't abandon my responsibility. I have to be where I am needed, and um, besides, I get to be with y'all, too. And, you know, the, the thing in all of this is, you know, I had all these plans, and it changed. So, my thought in this is, we can fight the battle... And, you know, I've watched family members fight the battle. You know, that they were going to change it. They were going to do all these things, and it was not, the outcome was not going to be that. And you know what? As Christians, we know who's in control. And we know, you know, there are things that happen in our lives for a reason, and we don't understand why. And we just have to trust that our God, you know, knows the best. And, and we have to trust that he has a plan. And if we don't, we're going to be miserable. And if we try to find our pathway, and if we try to find the ways, I mean, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want to drive the car anymore. <laughs> I want God to drive it. And, you know, in some ways, maybe that sounds lazy, but I don't. Because I know that if I'm left to my own 
you know, decision making, all of that. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what feels good, sounds good, is what I think is good in my flesh. And you know what? I don't want that anymore. I just want what God wants. So, because I can have faith that He hems me in behind and before, I, I you know, and lay your hand upon me. I, I, that's who I want. I really do. I want to take my hands off the wheels. <laughs> what was that song? Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> I want to take my hand off the wheel and just let, you know, let the Lord, let the Lord do what he's got to do and help me to understand and serve him well. And I think I'm good with that. And maybe it's after so many years of, you know, dealing with difficulties and tragedies, you know, we think we're under control, but my sweet friends, sometimes we're not. And what's really amazing, too, is some of the most difficult things in our lives can either take us down the sweetest paths of friendships that we meet, of answered prayers, of seeing God work. I mean, there are so many things as His believers that if we just look down and at that dirty old road, what a bummer that would be. But if we look a little to the left, and we stop and we smell a little to the right, it can have joy in the journey. So this was just my process. You know me, guys. I chatted up. <laughs> I'm a good chatter. <laughs> and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to date this and do all those good things, and I will be back, and we will do our next devotional. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you guys... Um, if you're not journaling in your Bible, I hope you're journaling in your devotional because it's such a good devotional. And uh, this is the cover. And I really appreciate it. And of course, you can find it on Move the Mountains on Etsy. So um, I'm going to let you guys go. Let's pray real quick and I'll be back and we'll go to the next day in our devotional because it's really good. Okay. Dear Lord, we humbly bow before you. We thank you for this time. And Lord, we ask that as we go down this path, that you would guide our steps. You would give us your ability to see to the left and to the right and enjoy the journey that you're taking us down so we can learn the lessons. We can learn the road and all the people along the way that we can be a light for you, that we can love those in your name. God, help us to stop and smell the flowers, to enjoy your creation. And Lord, help us to praise your name instead of wanting to just hurry up and get there. And help us when you stop us in the path, just like you did me these last two days. It was a dead, dead stop. Thank you, God, that there was peace and rest in those two days. And... I feel really guilty thanking you for that because I feel like I let everybody down. But God, you know, you taught me great lessons. You taught me to have extra SD cards and a backup camera and not just one but now two. And yes, it's time to get new phones because our phones are so bad. And, and you know, and I know you made us, you know, our Lord, thank you for helping us to wait because we know that our contract is up at the end of this month. And you know, helping us to live more frugally, and we thank you for that. And Lord, as everybody is here within my voice, I pray that they are looking towards you, and they are enjoying the journey that you have them on, and that they are really finding joy in the journey. And Lord, help them to remember that you hem them in. You go before and after, and you have your hand upon them. What a lovely picture, God, and what... It's just truth. It's just truth. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We ask you to be with each and every one of our um, subscribers and those who watch these videos. We ask that you bless them. And Lord, we ask you for one of our dear sweet friends at this channel who's been having some health issues. And uh, I was so excited to get an email from her earlier in the week. And I pray, God, that you just be with her and let her know that she is loved and that she is prayed for, God. And please guide the doctor's steps as they're going through such a difficult time. And help her on her part of the journey as well. Lord, we thank you for her. And we praise your name. 
In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm probably going to run out of video here. Let's come back. Let's do the next day. It's going to be fun. Okay, friends, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. And if you do a path and you do it better, please send me pictures because you're going to do it better. So, all right, guys, I love you, and I will see you the next time. Bye-bye.